and welcome to Ant's Family Recipe. Today I'm making air fried buffalo cauliflower bites. So this recipe is in no way a means for me to replace buffalo chicken or my favorite buffalo chicken dip. I was just looking for another vehicle for getting the amazing flavor of buffalo wing sauce onto my plate and into my mouth. So I thought I would try the very trendy over the past couple years, buffalo cauliflower bites. And I love using my air fryer, especially during the summer. We have air conditioning on the second and third floors of our house, but not on the first floor. And that is where the kitchen is. So instead of heating up my oven and getting my kitchen really hot, the air fryer is a much cooler way to make these. Now, a couple disclaimers. You're not going to get the texture of chicken with these cauliflower bites. They're definitely still a vegetable. But the way I'm making them, they do get a little crispy around the edges and they pack a buffalo wing flavored punch, which I love. So you could eat these kind of as an appetizer or a very easy side dish. We dipped ours in a little ranch dressing, or you could use these as a topping for a salad or inside a wrap or something like that. So I am really excited to share this with you today. It's super easy. And if you're craving that buffalo wing flavor, stay tuned. I started by breaking down one head of cauliflower into small florets. Next, I melted two tablespoons of unsalted butter in the microwave and then added this to a mixing bowl. Then I added a quarter cup of Frank's Red Hot Sauce, along with a pinch of salt, pepper, and garlic powder. I whisked this mixture together and then added in my cauliflower florets. Then I tossed them in the buffalo sauce until they were evenly coated. And I don't really like buffalo wings that have a breading on them, so I didn't want to do that with the cauliflower here either. If you wanted to coat these in a little bit of breadcrumbs just to give them some extra crunch, that's totally possible. It's just not what I was going for. I always like to preheat my air fryer before I use it. So this was set at around 390 degrees and I preheated it just for a couple minutes. Then I lightly brushed my little basket with a tiny bit of oil just to make sure nothing stuck. And then I added in my cauliflower. This cooked at 390 degrees for about 12 or 13 minutes. I tossed the cauliflower around every three or four minutes, and then I just cooked it until it was the way I liked it. So a little bit crispy around the edges, a little bit brown, um, definitely cooked through, but not soft and mushy. The cauliflower still has a little bit of a bite to it. And like I mentioned earlier, you can dip this in a little bit of ranch dressing or even blue cheese if you like that. Also, this makes a great topper for a salad, which is exactly how I used it this night. I used fresh greens and these sugar bomb tomatoes I found at Aldi that were amazing. I used some of my mom's incredible, perfectly marinated chicken. I'll leave that recipe linked down below. Also, a key ingredient in this salad was dried cranberries. They're a little bit chewy and sweet and it goes perfectly with that spicy cauliflower. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked my air fried buffalo cauliflower bites. Thank you so much for joining me here today in my kitchen, and I will see you again soon with more family recipes.